I have just watched a video with Katie Hopkins in and she defends this guy because he says uh, when working with women one or two things happen that that when men work with women they can either fall in love and then when you criticize them they get upset and um, and uh, um, that is true it you know it happens I mean um, you know as a, a woman you have put into your work ev everything you have and then when someone comes along and says well this isn't good enough or um you know it's it's hard at times not to get upset or i think what you have to remember is it they are not criticising you as a person, they are criticising the work that you have done and it is hard. I mean, um, s some people don't give us a sympathetic ear um, because uh, we do live in a world that's harsh, that brutally honest at times and what happens is you have to be open to feedback now as this is what I'm going to say as long as no one openly will to you and they are just being truthful then try and listen to it because it ultimately is going to help you in the long run um, and you know and could have better ideas and even more better ideas um, but I am oh I am aware that some people are up to the early hours of the morning trying to get every little detail perfect and then to be cold the next day well it's not perfect enough that this isn't what they were actually looking for and at times I think some people in charge some bosses can actually be cruel they can be at times and if someone has spent all night coming up with a presentation and they've clearly put everything they have into it it's how you criticise them because as a boss, as a manager, you are looked up to and your word means everything, you know, and um, so to never criticism I think that you have to focus 
on what they have on code is correct but have you thought about this have you thought about that you know it's so uh, it 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 is how you are spoken to if um, you are humiliated in front of people, you know, I mean that is if around, if your past can get you to one side and say, what he wants what he wants and then you can accommodate as to what he wants because at the end of the day he knows what is gonna sell what is gonna you know um but yes i do think to work with men you do have to bring yourself up a bit because they can just say something as clear as a and then you're like should i be offended by that should i be you know if you send something again i might say something or and this is where I think all of us have to defend our actions and defend our choices. Um, because if some idea or work is criticising your work, it is devastating. It is because if you have you've had spent all night on it, and you you know I mean if you thought it was crap, then you, you would not give it to your past. Sometimes, and this is what I think. Bosses don't appreciate how much power they have, and and at times some people might look up to them as inspiration. You know, I mean, at times. I think it makes me jealous that bosses seem to say whatever they want and not care if they've hurt or offended you um, or I think if some or one can criticise the work and just think in your head they are criticising the work not me as a person because I don't think that mm, many people can appreciate how much time it's actually cost I mean of course it's work and they've got to do it but some people put their heart and their soul into their work and what the manager says is older if you know what I mean by that because if I think to be a manager, what you say and how you talk to your staff is important 
if you want people to work together and to mix together then people have got to know what the what's ex expected of them what the rules are so to speak and yes i do agree that to work with men you do need a lot of cuffing up and at times i mean i i mm, know they tease and at times i don't know when to take them s some men s seriously but i think if you look in their eyes usually you can but i it's you know it's difficult because i don't think managers actually appreciate the length that employers have actually gone to to deliver this piece of work that they have for them and that the words that they say the words that they come out with can have quite a big impact on you a colleague of theirs and I've always said this a manager can either build you up or tear you down and the good manager knows exactly where your strengths are and and what is expected of you he's not gonna put you in a position that he thinks isn't gonna benefit the company at the end of this is what i think at the end of the day it depends on the manager and how well he can manage his staff his or her staff and and knows what motivates people what motivates Sharon what motivates Paul you know um so yeah you do need to be careful at times and um, but the end of the day work is work you always have to put a face on and armor up when you go into work because it's not gonna look good if you go to your desk in floods of tears um but and this is this, this is what i will say is this different people handle emotions differently i think that's what it comes down to <laughs> different people handle emotions differently and and if um i mean and i think there's no shame if you go to the toilets and have a little cry to yourself but then you come back out again <laughs> and then go to the person in charge at the end of the day or at lunch time or the end of your sh shift and you actually say excuse me would you be able to explain um you know something about your work and that you want to improve <laughs> so you know and i think at the end of the day if mm, managers can see that you are 
crying. And I, yeah, I think that's all a difference. And plus, he wouldn't, um, you know, because if, if they are a good manager, they actually take the time to get a know of their staff. <laughs> and I just think if, if women want to work with men, and if it's in science labs or somewhere completely if they do have to toughen up and and it's like you have kind of learned to know that lots of different things about men like when they are choking when they're teasing when they're being serious you know it it is hard I'm not saying it's easy to work with them and but I what I will say is this when all women work together you get a lot of cattiness people going behind each other's backs people gossiping so in in another sense it is easier to work with them men usually they are more honest more up front and it you know it it helps people if they work with men because it means that they are toughening up you know I mean I have Evan own some one who doesn't know how to handle men in the work place without having to toughen up around them because they can be pranksters sometimes they can be a bit cruel but at the end of the day that's just an end and you just learn to accept them for how they are. Yes, you can give honest feedback. And I think, this is what I think, usually you have to be conditioned. It doesn't happen overnight. It's over a period of time. But at the, at the same time, people would not come to you if they thought their work was crap. Nobody would. Nobody would go to their boss with the work they have done if they thought it was crap. So it and to be a manager of a whole place you have the power in your words to uplift people you have the power to do anything in your company and I think think not a lot of managers are aware of the impact of their words at times. I do think that but it's I mean I've always had a sister. I've never had a brother so I don't know what it's like to grow up with them men but usually as a woman if you have grown up with men you actually learn to get conditioned